both bone and cartilage are types of supporting connective tissue. So I want to review that as a category um, and the differences between the types in more detail before we go into bone. So first, a learning check. You probably need to pause the video to answer these ones. Refer back to notes if you need to. Um, and I'll cover some of this in this um, flow chart right here. So connective tissue, you remember, has three broad categories. Um, this one over here is loose. Um, I'm sorry, that should be fluid connective tissue. So that's going to be blood and lymph not talking about that more in detail, besides to know that it is a type of connective tissue, adds to that um, idea of how variable connective tissues are. There is connective tissue proper, and this was more of a focus of last week. Um, I guess that was two weeks ago, actually. So the loose and dense types, and then um, the different types we talked about for each of those. So now we're talking about supportive. Connective tissue. So tissue that its main job is to support the body. Um, although you already know that's not the only job. So here we've got two main types cartilage and bone, and then three types of cartilage. Hyaline, have that pop up here. There it is. This contains collagen fibers with cells dispersed in their lacuna cavities, um, and then a lot of brown substance. So this gel-like brown substance that's in between the cells and then the collagen fibers are dispersed within the gel-like brown substance. Remember both the ground substance and the fibers, the collagen fibers make up that extracellular cellular matrix, the stuff that's outside of the cells and connective tissues have quite a bit of stuff outside of the cell that makes up the tissue, unlike epithelial tissue, which is mostly cellular. So hyaline cartilage is fairly stiff, but also flexible still. Um, the ends of long bones, um, most joints, the trachea cartilages um, all contain hyaline cartilage. So we'll see it again. It's called articular cartilage when it lines articulations. Now, next we've got elastic cartilage. Oops, I forgot I don't have, I gotta write that in myself. Okay, this is elastic. So you can see the elastic fibers. And that's the main reason I have you um, look at this in lab is so that you have a place where you can see what elastic fibers look like. Elastic fibers are also located in areolar tissue, but they're hard to identify. These are actually, um, located in the, the ear, so it's a little bit stretchier than your hyaline cartilage, literally because it's elastic, stretchy. Last cartilage type is fibrocartilage. Fibro refers to fibers, so this is collagen fibers, same as hyaline cartilage, but denser. So the ratio of collagen to the ground substance, so this is lots, so collagen is greater than the ground substance in terms of proportion within that extracellular matrix. This one, the, oops, that's backwards, the ground substance is in lesser quantity to the collagen. That's the difference between them. So this is going to be firmer and stiffer than hyaline cartilage, because there's more fibers in it, which are strong. Um, so these are located in 
Some places the knee joint within the, the pubis symphysis is where we'll, um, you saw in lab actually, and in between the vertebral discs to allow a little bit more stability in those places. Um, resisting movement more than hyaline cartilage. Lastly, we've got bone, already showed that picture. I mean, I didn't show the picture, I already said it. Um, bone has very small amount of brown substance and a lot more collagen, as well as a calcified matrix. And I'm gonna have another video on the histology of it, but um, this is gonna make them strong, like concrete, like, you know, um, more shatter resistant, but still flexible because they're still um, this collagen fiber matrix 